Hello, hello, hello. We have some new news today, including uh, the new drop for Solomon. Solomon is releasing a brand new shift for next year, while a lot of it is going to stay the same, like you'll see in the photo on the screen somewhere. Um, there are some big changes, so I think it's important to talk about it. Nobody really has talked about it. It's not out there yet. The embargo is in like February, so a lot of this is speculation. A lot of this is based on a photo uh, from Mike Douglas uh, that's on Cody Townsend's ski. It's kind of funny that this is how this has gotten leaked to the world, and I think we're the only ones talking about it. So uh, here's the deal. New plastic for the binding as a whole. Um, it's supposed to be more robust, more durable. As most of you know, a lot of the issues with the previous shift was in the toe. Uh, the heel has been okay with the exception of the brake mechanism, which I've also heard is changing a bit. Overall, the binding is gonna be lighter, but more robust. They're using a different plastic on the toe overall. They also, as you probably can see, are changing the way that the binding gets mounted. It is basically in a totally different shape. The holes are now exposed on the bottom of it. It's got a new AFD, which in the initial version, like the early, early version of the shift, the most annoying part was the AFD. It was just poorly, in my opinion, poorly designed um, and it didn't last very long and everybody had problems with it, especially in like the Gen 1 versions of it. So it's good to see that they're kind of going to make some changes. Overall, the binding looks a little burlier, looks a little beefier, and my hope is that this will kind of solidify the shift as the number one option for people. Um, as we've talked about before, there's, and I'm sure there's a video of it, I know there's a video of it on the internet, I'm not a huge fan of the Duke option that is out there right now. So really people have had three options when it comes to crossover bindings, it's either the shift, the Duke PT, or the cast system, and I think they all fit into their own special categories with shift being the most crossover of the group. Duke being like 90% skiing alpine, 10% touring, and cast I would probably say is very close to that, if not a little more leaning towards the alpine side of things. Um, the shift is a great option. I think for a lot of people it hasn't been durable enough. It's gotten beat up online and holy shifting has become a like household term because of the way that the brake explodes, because of the way that the binding explodes, uh, or has been known to explode in certain instances. I have had pretty minimal options, although I have had one with this binding, but I've used it for, I don't know, 100 days, 150 days, something like that, um, on different variations of it. So I, I think overall it's been really good. I think for most skiers that are looking to maybe go touring sometimes, it is a great option because it's lightweight and it skis really, really well. Um, so on the new version, they're really putting the focus on skiing and making sure that the binding is durable and burlier overall. You'll notice like just from this photo, the binding doesn't look all that different. There's some key changes and obviously in this one, the little switch over lever is pink. Obviously it's not gonna be pink in the production model. This is just like the pro athlete prototype version. Um, but that's actually what caught my eye to the binding and that it was actually a different binding and then you start looking at it closer and you're like oh the holes are exposed the shape is a little bit different and the plastic is different um, i already knew that the plastic was going to be different but it's cool to see what it actually looks like because when i had heard about it coming most people were talking about the fact that it didn't really change that much because they didn't feel like that much was wrong with it and i actually agree i think there's some key things that are wrong that just needed to be fine-tuned because otherwise it's a really really good binding so curious to see what people think of the new design, if this changes people's minds at all when it comes to what binding they're gonna buy. I know the shift hate is pretty extreme sometimes, but I still think it's a great option for most people. So let me know in the comments what you actually think about this binding and if this improvement is gonna change your opinion at all.